Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alan. When COVID hit uh, the world in 2020, I decided to retire and enjoy the rest of my life. So now I have plenty of time to focus on my hobbies, which include fixing vintage audio, various technical projects, and riding my motorcycle when my back doesn't hurt. So enjoy this video and give me a thumb up if you liked it. Please also subscribe to my channel so you can be informed when I'm posting new videos. In any case, thank you for watching and have a great day. I live in a beautiful state, however we have many problems, one of them being an outdated and unreliable power grid. As a result, we have multiple power outages every single year. After a 30 hour power outage, yes not 30 minutes, 30 hours, last year, I started installing battery backup systems throughout the house. This video describes one of them. I hope you like it, and if you do, please give me a thumb up. Thank you. So your first reaction would probably be uh, why did I not replace my uh, garage door opener by uh, one that has a battery built in? Well, for, first, you know, why would I get rid of a perfectly good uh, modern garage door opener? And secondly, I looked at how these uh, battery uh, backup uh, systems are designed inside uh, garage door openers and I didn't like them because they are cheap and uh, the battery is very small and in many cases uh, what happens after a few years is the power goes off and the battery is dead or the unit is failed um, so i thought this would be a fun project for me to design something that is more reliable much more powerful and that can also provide power to uh, other devices so yeah it's another kill but i like fun projects So the, mater the materials I used are easily obtainable from uh, online sites uh, and uh, hardware stores. I had a great deal at Lowe's on the inverter. I don't know if they still have it, but you might uh, as well check Lowe's and also Home Depot. Um, and all the materials and descriptions are towards the end of the video. So for main components, I used a 1000 watt pure sign in inverter. Uh, why pure sign is because the motor on the opener is very inductive and uh, it creates uh, uh, if you if you are fitting it a non pure sine wave like a simulated sine wave with spikes any spike would create problems with inductive loads. Uh, what I like about the uh, Renogy model is that uh, it comes with a wall mountable remote control panel. Uh, which has a toggle switch and that's very important because I wanted to uh, remotely control the inverter uh, with a relay in my uh, control box. So I also have an 18 amp hour acid battery and a battery box to hold it. I use a floating charger 2 amps. Why? Because 18 amp hour 2 amps that will give me a charging time of about 9 hours. I use a GFI ceiling plug for the AC for the uh, power grid and an electric uh, metal box uh, of good size to contain all the relays, fuses, plugs, breakers, switches and so on. I also added an LED flood lamp in front of my garage that is uh, uh, powered by this backup system so that uh, if the power goes off the LED still has um, a power you know, in case of uh, uh, people you know, trying to uh, break in during uh, the power outage in the dock. Oh, 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 oh. 
So these are the things I wanted out of this system. I wanted something simple that turns on automatically uh, when there's a power outage uh, and uh, capable, powerful enough to uh, open and close my garage door opener for days and uh, reliable and easy to check the system uh, status, able to power other devices uh, with extra plugs, easy to uh, fix and replace parts, with uh, components that are readily available and not expensive and also fun to put together. It may look complicated on the schematic, but uh, uh, just follow the uh, traces, the, uh, the, the conductors, and uh, the, the, the diagram shows the system in backup uh, mode, basically when power is lost. So you can follow the signal and see that the relays are basically channeling power from the inverter to the garage opener plug and to the security lights. Uh, everything else is described at the end of the uh, uh, video uh, as far as components, so you can uh, buy the right stuff. This slide and all the other slides till the end of the, the video shows all the components I used and the de description so you can match them to uh, the usual online uh, sites, shopping sites and also the local hardware stores such as Home Depot and uh, Lowe's and all the others. So thanks very much everybody for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to post many other videos uh, of technical projects that would be very interesting and uh, give me a thumb up if you like the video presentation that's highly appreciated as usual and if you have any questions please post them on my uh, uh, channel and don't hesitate. Thanks very much and have a great day. You gotta do